Mama's back, boys. Woo! We're, uh... Mother knows best. We're gonna go kill a butterfly. Sick. This is a weird boss, man. Dude, you know what's great about uh, the big butterfly boss? What? The Berserk reference. <laughs> is it? Yeah. There's, a, there's actually a super cool part in Berserk where he has to fight this weird, like, butterfly demon, but she can, like fly it like she makes like sonic booms she goes so fast wow it's actually really cool it's yeah this cool... is actually a really slow moving boss oh really yeah do they fly are yeah. they pretty yeah okay. very pretty oh dude those knights are cool yeah screw them though they're so big they're so big big boys this is a really cool atmosphere but the boss fight leaves a little to be desired you like uh the overgrown bricks yeah like dark, dark, like a, you're playing a Dark Souls game. You're and just stuck on this bridge. Yeah. So. Whoa. You're on this bridge, and then this thing just shoots magic at you all the time. Whoa. Good thing you have pyromancy. Yeah, it doesn't work that well because pyromancy's kind of like. Bleh. Yeah, that didn't do anything. It didn't hit him. Is it a him? It. it Does I it guess. have a gender? I, don't I guess know. I don't even know. Is it sentient, even? I have no idea. It's actually doing pretty great. Yeah, I uh, usually can't hit him that well. Doing work. So, he gets too tired. And then you just whoop -wah! Oh my gosh, this is the easiest fight ever. Yeah. You uh, hit him, like, one more time. That, that wasn't uh, even a fight! That I did really well. It usually doesn't go that fast. <laughs> Do they have any attacks besides the weird little magic mist? I, uh, I usually don't do it that fast. I mean, that doesn't happen. I'm sorry. Man, that's the weakest boss in the game. Forget Pinwheel. It, it's a pain in the ass because that big attack that I dodged, like it's like a slow-seeking thing, mm -hmm. um, can one-shot you if you're weak. Uh, but, and we are. But our offense is really good. So this thing... Oh, Divine Ember. So Whoa, look bone. at that's like Andre, right? It is straight up Andre. I when I got here, I was like, "Wow, Andre is a god or something." Because you just thought it was the same person. Yeah, I'm like, they have a statue or like he's reincarnated or something. Oh yeah, I just figured his brother died. His brother? Yeah. You know, like the Demon Soul situation. Maybe the bros. Yeah, it's possible. You know, like a reference, like an homage. <laughs> You what can't if, homage your same game. I know. What if, like, somebody had just in the audience, hey, why do you keep making the same game? <laughs> um, yeah, I guess he would just say it's the same place. Oh, I for almost forgot about Hovel. Yeah. I gotta get that ring. Gotta go do that. Gotta go do the thing. Oh, and I also didn't even mention this thing. It's a Titanite demon. Whoa. He's actually really cool. Whoa. I can kill him if you want, but... Does he not have a head? No. Whoa. This guy is so cool. They're really hard, actually. Um, usually, I'll just end up cheesing him. Oh, my him. gosh. He doesn't have a... This guy's so cool. Dude, I think Dark Souls got best bosses. This isn't even a boss. There's like three of them. I know. Well, there's so actually cool. a lot of them. Because um, there's one here. There's one in Anor Londo, And then Sen's Fortress is just like infested with them. Uh, I think that's all of them though. Dude, that guy's so cool. Yeah, I'll kill him. Because I, I forgot what he drops. And we're kind of at the point where we want souls. I'm tight night. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I wish you could just chip off shards. We don't need Titanite anymore, actually. Oh, really? We need green Titanite shards. Mm, is there a green brother? Does he have a green bro? Uh, what, was he the green bro? <laughs> no. Dang. What? Did he hit you on that backswing? Yeah, I guess. So the thing is, how I sweeps. usually beat him is I come down here. Yeah, in the doorway. And just, like, I throw shit at him. Yeah. Your classic cheese. I don't know, that would hit me. That one's probably gonna hit you too. Yeah. I think this one might hit you. Do you think? Don't 
Don't hit me. Ooh. Don't hit me. Dodges save lives. It's true. Like IRL too. Yeah. Like if you're about to get hit by something, just don't. Ooh, Ooh that was a quick follow up. Later, man. Dang. Oh, he's not dead. Later, man. Demon Titanite. So, de cool. yeah, Demon Titanite's how you level up boss weapons. Ah, I see. Which I think it's the same in Dark Souls 3. Have we right? got any cool boss weapons? No, I mean, we have a couple cool boss souls. But. I don't know. Dang. So I guess I'm, we fought too many magic enemies. I'm about to, to blow your mind right now. Yeah. Do you see how you keep going? Like it says Dark Root Garden? Yeah. You turn right? You turn right. <gasps> <laughs> And then you can get to the Dark Root Basin, which goes this way. <laughs> yeah, this place is pretty rad, perm rad. You think this game is probably like always going to be pretty cool? Like it's, I th <laughs> think it might be permanently rad, dude. <laughs> Perfect. Oh yeah, there's these things. Oh, it's I remember those little scuttle butts. No, there's no, there's no like demon titanite in Dark Souls Three. There's just the titanite, and then there's twinkling titanite. Is that right? Yeah, usually the boss weapons take twinkling titanite though. Yeah, that might be the case in here too. Honestly, I don't, I don't fuck with that shit. You don't use the dark titanite or whatever it's called. No, I don't. I just stockpile demon all that. Demon titanite or like pussy ass titanite. Yeah, I just use a big boy's vi. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So hovel's over there, but there's a the legend never dies. There's a secret down here, dude. It's super secret. Don't tell anyone, guys. Yeah, if you're, if you're watching this, like cover this, cover your eyes. Yeah, pretend like you're watching porn in a public environment right now. Oh, I forgot this guy. So you like hurriedly close the window. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got one more a time. One more time. He's got a halberd. I mean, he's gonna get you. Oh, he gave you a halberd. Yeah, and a titanite chunk. I think Whoa! A blue chunk. Bonfire boys. How many different colored ones are there? But Rob, do you wanna do you wanna know something really cool that we're about to do? I think so. You I honestly, I honestly forgot that this was here until we just walked there? past it. There's a lot I feel of like questions. I forgot a lot of stuff. I've forgotten so much, but this is the best shield in the game. No, how many colors are there for titanite shards? Uh, there's red, green, and blue. Oh, okay. So we just got the Grass Crest Shield, which is broken as hell in this game. For your cra your classic uh, ridge window, uh, you know, rainbow. Yeah. Cute old ridge. So I think we have to take off our thing now. Because we put this on our back. Mm -hmm. And then look at watch our stamina, like all exhausted. And then shoot so quick. So quick. Is this the grass root shield or whatever? Grass crest shield, yeah. Grass crest, yeah. But it's way overpowered in this game. Like they yeah. scaled it back in other ones, but yeah, and all the other ones. That's what they. That's kind of what Dark Souls Three did. Is they took everything from Dark Souls One and like rebalanced it how it should be. Yeah. <laughs> like Hovel's ring is like ten percent or something. It's absurd. Ooh, it's absurd. <laughs> it, it gives you fifty percent carry weight. That's stupid. Oh, can I not come in through this door? Oh, okay, no. Yeah, you got that key from the thing you killed, the dragon. So this is Hobble. Hey, buddy! Oh, yeah, he's the same. Yep. Basically, yeah, he does so much. <laughs> hey, man, when you got that giant the dragon tooth. We're just going to basically be doing the same attacks to each other. Just yeah, over, overhead. It looks like it. Just max damage. Man, it uses all of your stamina to do that. Backstab, no. Dude, he's got a shield. Can't backstab him. No, you can. Definitely can. Even when he's got a shield on his back? Yeah. Whoa. Because I'm the chosen undead. All right, all right, all right. Oh, it looked like you got it. Don't do it. Oh, don't do it. Bam lam whoa, bam lam. That wasn't even bad. No, it wasn't. 
I mean, he took down like your entire health by three times. <laughs> yeah, but. if he does one, if he hits you with one good overhead, it can one shot you, like yeah. legit. But now we have Hovel's ring. I love how that's the only two rings we have. The be yeah, why? Look would at you our get equip load. Oh why my. would you ever get more? We just went from like seventy yeah, to one hundred six. Can you look up everything at once? <laughs> you just double up. All right, this is my black leather. This is my leather. <laughs> Got See, my chainmail. Yeah, now we can roll. And another thing is Mask of the Father gives you even more equip. Oh yeah. So that's why we needed that. Can we still get it? Yeah, it's just I looked it up because I was wondering why patches didn't come back. You have to kill Nido for patches to come back. Ooh. And Nido is like one of the final bosses. So we're not going to be a giant dad for a little while. Shoot. Right now, do you see how something's getting blasted? Man, these guys are dope. Oh my gosh. That's, yeah. Oh my gosh. It's like, what is emitting those explosions? Do you think it's like a giant butterfly that we killed? No, dude. Dang. You're going to love it. Cool. I like these guys, man. Yeah, these are actually really cool. Okay. We're going to kill this. This isn't even a boss. This is a mini boss. Whoa, that didn't work. Okay. <laughs> Figured hiding behind a... Uh, hiding behind a rock would... Oh, man. You just got to run. I love how you can't even you see can what it, run, what's you shooting you hide. until... Dude, it's straight up the Hydra. Are you Hercules? Is Dark Souls the origin of Greek mythos? Is Miyazaki... Oh man, we already met Zeus. This is the origin of Zeus myth of Greek mythos. I think, yeah, that's one... Does it give you two heads? Or do you have to cut off each of the heads? You just have to cut off each head. Oh, dang. And I'm really happy because we've upgraded our Zweihander so much that it's a one-shot for the heads. Usually that's... it takes a lot more. This oh, it's only if I'm two-handing it, though. There we go. This is incredible. This is actually so cool. It's kind of a pain in the ass, because the boss is, it gets progressively more tedious as yeah. there's less heads to cut. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, do you see that? There's, like, if you walk forward too much, you just fall. Really? Yeah, which Ooh, is really shitty. Swim. Yeah. No. Just out of range. Yeah, so you have to balance it, because if you go too far back, then he shoots magic at you. But if you go too far forward, you fall to your death. Dang. It's really cool. This one on the far side, this is a real pain in the ass to hit. I think... Ah, oh, damn it. You just gotta get right up on that wall. Yeah. Damn. This is awesome. Literally just fighting a Hydra. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he should do, man. Whoa, wasn't that the night we met earlier in the game yeah, that helped that, us? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no. Well, no, we killed that guy, remember? Oh, really? Was that the guy that we killed? I thought that was a different guy. I don't know. Night sets look the same to me. Dude, that's that ain't right. See, we could just shoot him with a bow and kill him. Like, you don't actually have to take off his heads. Yeah, you just have to do enough damage. Yeah. I think you got it. Sweet. Yeah. Defeated the Hydra. One of the trials. We didn't have to do that. I will become a god. But there's... Over there, like that direction, is how you access the DLC. Mm. Uh, now that we've killed the Hydra, it'll be easier. But we're Artorious. we're not going to the DLC yet. We're not prepared. No way. No way, Josue. Josue, are you watching? Josue, shout out. Why uh, did you leave? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my god, we're, we're getting close to giant daddom. Yeah, we're almost there. To truly being a Dark Souls daddy. I mean, what, Robert, what's your opinion on people calling significant others daddy? It's pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like it's most people's opinion, isn't it? <laughs> I read... Uh, one of my roommates left his phone out in like, on like a kitchen table. <laughs> yeah. And I looked on it, and there were like five texts. Cause so he got his phone like basically duplicated, I guess. Cause he's he just wanted, he, yeah, he wanted to replace it. But basically, 
he had his real phone that he was still texting this girl but on his phone at home it was just getting like her replies yeah because it was just it would just show up on like okay. his lock screen or whatever yeah, yeah. So there's all these messages from this girl that's like, "Come for me, daddy." Oh shit! And I'm like, "This is just so the they were gross. sexting, and yeah. you were you were getting one side of the sexting story." I'm like, story. "This is just the grossest thing I've ever seen in my life." There were no pictures or anything, but yeah. Wow, you can get a backstab right there. I huh? guess I wasn't close enough. Wow. Is that what you say for pinwheel? <laughs> that oh no, we have more rings than we need. Of all the just the man, he did. Did he ever even make new rings? Uh, yeah, there's like a few, but it's that's the thing is it's the majority of the same rings every game, yeah, and like environments, yeah. I guess the bosses is really the only thing that changes, yeah. There's a lot of variation in the bosses, yeah. We've never gone up here, so technically, the I mean. They're laid out. Oh my god. Yeah, they're laid out differently, but. Kind of the same environments. Parkour. <laughs> Alright. I think we're good enough to go back to Spider Bitch. We log. Quaylog, yeah. Quaylog. I see it. We just got to get back home, though. I feel like E.T. right now. Have you seen E.T.? I had, like, a, like a time. <laughs> Maybe, like, a, a bit ago. Is it, I think it was an indie film, was it? Yeah. Everyone's favorite indie director, Spielberg. <laughs> Stefan Spielberg. <laughs> That'd be so funny if you were an indie director named Stefan Spielberg. No. <laughs> uh, it's Stefan. <laughs> so and maybe read a book. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's what every indie director says. <laughs> read a book. Write a book, asshole. How? Watch movies to watch movies. Where the hell did that come from? I don't know. He's kind of dropped in the sky. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. The undead men. Ew, this is gross. Brains. Man, if it was actually raining men, that'd be like the most horrific thing <laughs> in my life. Can you Jesus Christ, there's blood everywhere. Just watching bodies flop over on rooftops and just bleed out. People screaming as they're falling from the sky. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be as jovial. It'd be horrific. We're going back to Blighty, Blighty Town. And then, after we, so, here, um, we start, I think we'll just, yeah, we'll have enough time to kill this lady, and then, Sweet. before the next episode, we might be able to, um, get a fire's Vihander. Ooh. Because the upgrade path, you have to get it to plus five, which we did, mm -hmm. and then you can infuse it with fire, mm -hmm. and that can go to plus five. Does it not take away the scaling? It, it So it takes away the scaling, but that's kind of good for us because we don't have a lot of strength or dex. I guess that's we true. We just have the minimum. Um, so yeah, fire would actually be good for us, but fire is a path to um, to chaos. Which is what we actually which want. Which is what we actually want. Yeah, there's a hidden blacksmith here. A lot of people actually miss him. Well, I can see why. Yeah. He's actually pretty interesting because... He's like a sorcerer, and he's in prison, and he doesn't want to be freed. He's like, yeah, I have no intention of escape. I don't know, I always thought that was kind of interesting. So yeah, he's basically bored and just wants to be a uh, blacksmith. Huh. Does he have, it doesn't look like he has any equipment for smithing back there. Yeah. I don't know how he does it. It's magic. He's a sorcerer. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course. Magic. <laughs> and there's actually a third black... No, there's four blacksmiths in this game. So Andre, this weird guy in a cell. There's Andre, this weird guy in a cell. The Dead giant. Andre. Uh, oh, yeah, the giant. And um, Vamos, the skeleton. 
Oh, and that's you, cool. Do you know where he resides? In Bone Zone? In Bone Zone. In that bone wheel pit. Oh my gosh, what? Yeah, he's an asshole. Get out of there. So I, I didn't know about him until, like, at least my second yeah, playthrough. Yeah, of course not. Why would you explore that area? And it's... it's the, okay, when... I'll talk shit on yeah, Vamos. Dark Souls too. I'll talk shit on Vamos <laughs> when we get there. But yeah, his area is impossible to find by yourself. Yeah. Because you have to f jump down a pit that you think would kill you. Mm -hmm. And then it's just like, nope, there's a blacksmith down here. It's like, wow. That's a great way to run a business. There's nonsense. I'm feeling like we're good now. Yeah? Like in Dark No like, way you're ever going to die again? Is that what you're calling right now? Uh, I, Evan, quote, I will never die. I need you to make a note of this because you're going to have to edit this in <laughs> when you die. I, Evan, of Permarad Games will never die in Dark Souls again. Oh my gosh. You have to edit it. <laughs> You can give me my time. Yeah, 1.30. Oh, shit. I tried. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I just almost died. I just almost died. Okay. I what? 1.33.40, I think? <laughs> Reaching for the pad to write when I said I will never die. I almost fell off the fucking cliff. That was, that was bad. Oh, jeez, man. <laughs> Wait, how long is this app? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I'll check when I get to the bonfire. It's like 30 minutes, isn't it? Oh, no, because we had that thing in between apps. Yeah. Yeah, it threw everything off, and the Fire oh, Nation man. attacked. And... But you only did it for like 10 minutes, right? So I started at like 1.12, okay. so we have eight more minutes. Perfect. Check the timestamp of this video, get viewer. Again? You will know. Oh, there's no way not to get poisoned. Yeah. That's the best part of Blight Town. You've got to have one purple moss clump, don't I, you? I did. Because oh, okay. the place where you get all the purple moss clumps is um, you can either buy them from that lady in the depths that I never showed you. Okay. Or um, you go to Dark Root, and when you kill all those grass people, they drop it. So uh. I, I, um, I have two. So yeah, before this fight, I will definitely... Man, at least the Poisonous Swamp in Dark Souls 3 has those cool, like, giant monsters. Yeah. This one doesn't look very cool. Yeah, it's kind of shit. It leads to my favorite area, um, Ash Lake. Oh, but yeah. But there's no fucking way we're going to Ash Lake before we can warp. Because oh, yeah. it's a straight down descent. And Ooh. coming back up. I've never done it. Aaron's done it. He hated it. Um, <laughs> so I'm just not going to do that dumb thing. Cool. God, look at us. We're a giant dad. Oh, not yet. Ooh, 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 we're, we're, a, we're not a giant dad yet. We're a big mama. Yeah, we are. Doing a little bit more damage. Yeah. I'm guessing like double. Yeah, I think so. Because I only hit her with a light attack. Oh, wow, yeah. It's just she hasn't done any, any spider moves. She's just doing people moves. Yeah. Why don't you do a spider move? Do a spider move. God. Do a barrel roll. And now she's gonna do a spider move. But I just barely got out of that. Just barely got out of that. Okay, this is the best spider move to punish. Yeah, this is easy, easy street now. Whoa, man. This is straight up pie lane, man. I always feel like a doof when I dodge an attack late, and it's like, oh, that didn't matter. Cake Avenue. What's Cake Avenue? It's like easy, easy, easy pie, easy cake. Super, it's, it's easy. Yeah. Yeah, you've heard that before, right? I don't know. Have I? You ever, you ever seen uh, uh, well, uh, Star War? Star the war? Yeah. The war of the stars? Yeah, it happened like a while ago, but I'm pretty sure it's the future. Wasn't that like a radio broadcast where everyone killed themselves? Yeah, yeah. BBC did a radio broadcast. It was right after Guardians of the... Of the no, no, no. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah. It was like a Wells Fargo broadcast or something. Mm-hmm. Like, he, yeah. Like, Sponsored by Wells Fargo. Yeah. 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 I've heard that one. Cool. 
I heard it was good. I haven't heard it though. <laughs> Ooh. Have you seen the Tom Cruise? Oh, oh shit! Oh no. wait, where the fuck? That was so weird. I died. Are you kidding? <sighs> Roll the clip. I Evan of Pormorad Games will never <laughs> die in Dark Souls again. <laughs> it didn't even take five minutes. I, well, that was dumb. That was weird. That camera angle, dude. The camera angle was weird. That camera angle, dude. No, but have you seen Tom Cruise War of the Worlds? Obviously, you have. Like, I didn't like it. Well, I liked it, but it scared me as a kid. So I don't. <laughs> I, I don't like it. Well, yeah, you shouldn't have watched it as a kid. <laughs> like, honestly, that was the most unsettled I think I felt in the movie. Yikes, like what? hiding in the basement with like the. I was like, oh shit, dude, they're gonna find him, they're gonna find him. The world, man. Dakota Fanning's dead, dude. She's fucking dead. Yeah. The book's even more intense, man. Yeah, that's right, I read the book. Screw you guys. I. <laughs> Do you think that was like the first podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. I, uh. Oh yeah, people who are always like, "Hey man, the book's always better than the movie." You're stupid. Those people are dumb. Yeah. They just, they just have no idea. They just have no idea that like their favorite movies are based on books that they've never heard of. Are you saying? Well, I don't know. I guess. Two thousand one: A Space Odyssey, man. It's a book. Yeah, Jurassic Park. Not Star Wars. That's true. It was, it was the radio play we were talking about. Yeah. That was sponsored by Wells Fargo and BBC. Yeah, worse. The Star radio play is actually better than the movie, though. <laughs> 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 Voiced by Tom Cruise. I uh, I just need to heal more, I guess. Yeah, it looks maybe just dodge better. <laughs> just get good. Yeah, you should just like hit uh more and harder. And then also dodge every attack. Like, obviously it was my fault that I died last time. <laughs> it's just, I was getting weird attacks. I was getting weird getting, attacks. Getting weird camera angles. Yeah. I need her to do less of this sword BS and more of the spider BS. Yeah, should you be further away for spider stuff? It It's kind of, I don't know. I don't know how to trigger it. What are you even doing? Yeah, just... why would you try to, oh, I guess she just runs at you if you're, there you go. See, that was a weird one. It, and now I'm screwed. Yeah, it cut out. I thought it was going to be a long boy, and it was a shorty boy. I didn't know that you could change the duration of the attack like that. So, is this a long boy or a shorty boy? It's a long boy. Yeah, yeah. Get into it. Oh, man. there's Is the lava there forever? No, but it's there for too long. Yeah, long enough that it... You're not going to be able to do anything about it. <sighs> Woof. Making my way downtown. <laughs> I'm just going to top it off. I'm just going to top it off. Oh, man, you get so much justice. Yeah, I mean, I might as well, right? I'm going to get greedy. Real greed. I'm going to tank this hit. Wow, I didn't even get hit. I'm very surprised. Yeah, did you iframe it? I guess. Short boy. Oh shit, I should have listened. It was oh, a no. short boy. You got greedy. Oh, now you're screwed again. Did he double up? Oh my god! <laughs> I, Evan of Pormorad <laughs> Games, will never die in the Throw Dark up Souls the edit! Game. All right, we're back. Whatever, right? Woo, 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 I'm woo, over woo, it. I'm woo, over it, guys. Woo, woo, woo. I, I'm not a cocky boy anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cocky still, probably. I'm not cocky. I just, uh, I need to stop being, doing dumb things. But the, I mean, the real thing, I think the takeaway here is that you're never going to die again. That's what I'm talking about. Take oh, okay, <laughs> I see. Yeah. I got <laughs> stuck in lava. <laughs> stuck in lava and then blown straight out of the... She just blew up again. What the hell? What are you doing, lady? Long boy. God, I can't. I I don't know why I'm having so much Whoa, trouble with this boss. Whoa, jump! That's so cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Whoa, that's a dangerous attack right there. 
and they just do it three times. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Less lava, please. Please, less lava. That's so much... They, man, if they did the jump again right there, that would have killed you. I thought I was out of that, but whatever. We gotta raise our stamina. I've been pouring stuff into it. Really? Yeah. I guess, you, I mean, you're getting two hits out of it. It's yeah. just it takes a lot of endurance to wield this big boy sword. Yeah. And also this boss is hard because we can't use pyromancy against it. Just straight up at all. Yeah, it's immune. Dang. Which makes sense. Yeah, it does. I mean, if you can contain lava within your body, who cares about fire? I have no good excuse for being bad at this, though. Dude, Chaos Witch. They're crazy. God, that was weird. Ooh. Oh, God, now you're gonna blow me up. Oh! Don't uh, do it. Double chug. I could have double chugged, but I saw I could punish this move instead. Nice. Oh yeah. So this is when this is where greed kicks in, because I just really want her dead. Yeah, two hits. He's a short boy. Damn it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, boys, you can unclench. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was almost real bad. <laughs> oh, goodness. I did not expect you to leap directly <laughs> into that pool of lava. Well, that's where I came in. 20 humanities. So it is two. Yeah. It's two separate beings. That's pretty cool, right? That's gross. It's pretty gross. That's so gross. Grody boys. Yeah. Yuck. All right, we're going to ring this bell. And then we're going to meet you back at Firelink. Okay. Are you down? Is because, this the other bell? Yeah, this is the other bell. It's underground, dude. That's crazy. Who would yeah. have expected? Because I skipped through the guy's dialogue, but he's like, One bell up above and one below. That and then, sounds like a thing a weird guy would say. Yeah. And so this is the second bell of awakening. It's which is really cool. because So when you get into Dark Souls, right? Yeah. That's your quest. That's your quest. Ring the two bells. Is it really? Yeah. And so we just ring the second bell. Is that what the guy says in the in the cell? No, or is it's that just it's the chosen one's quest. It's the guy sitting at the shrine right by the first bonfire, like the, the crestfallen knight. Yeah, he's like ring the two bells. Oh, okay. That's what every chosen one does or tries. And um, are you the only one who's ever rung the bells? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So not only are you going to be the first person ever, like, but you're also the first person. I guess, yeah, because they, because they, the gargoyles would have been dead. Yeah. So they gave us a homeward else complimentary bone. That means nobody's ever gotten even one of the bells. I think that's true. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, no, 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 no. There is an NPC uh, named Iron Tarkus. Mm -hmm. He makes it to Anor Orlando. Oh, well, how did he get there? He dies in Anor Orlando, but uh, he must have rung the bells or something. I don't know. Dang. Is he just real sneaky? Did he just not no, even have dude. to fight him? We're, we're going to meet Iron Tarkus. Maybe next episode, even. Um, Shoot. I don't know, but I'm going to run up back up to Firelink. I'll catch you on the flip side.